Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of No Man's Sky. I am Captain Beefy with the Game Ball here today. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel so you can continue to get these little informative videos, or hopefully informative, I don't know, we'll see, depending on your level of play, I guess. And don't forget to uh, hit that bell notification so you know every time one shows up. And of course, a comment on the video and a like is always appreciated. So what we're going to talk about today is a Sentinel Pillar. These are all over the galaxies. And they do have some cool uh, cool benefits to building a base near one. So we're going to put a base near one and I'm going to show you why. Uh, but first off, how do you find one of these? You need a special map. And I'll show you what it looks like. This right here, a sentinel boundary map. And you get them sometimes from killing sentinels, especially when you come across one of these. I don't remember if you, I don't think you can buy them. It's just like a special drop. But we got one, and we put a base down near it. See here, base computer. And we're going to build just a small little basic base. I do have kind of a, the basics that I like to put in when um, I build. So let's start off with, uh, something to raise it up off the ground a little bit. We want it to be close by, but not too close. We'll do that. We'll put the room on top. We'll give it a nice little... I thought we put a room on top. There we go. Big ass rock. Um, all right, let's build out this way a little bit. There we go. Another room. Another base underneath it. And yeah, why not? That's purely for aesthetics there. Okay. So there's the very basics of the structure. We're going to need a way in throw on a door and we could fly up to the door or we could do an access ramp which we'll put an access ramp down just for ease of entry and here we go nice basic little base right next thing we're gonna need to power this puppy and I think we'll put in four and four of the solar panels and batteries let's do the batteries one two Three and four. Solar panels are going to require metal plating, but we have that, I guess. I think it's in our uh, freighter, which is in the system. So that's able to be accessed. But now we're able to get a little power here, right? And purely for the look of it, I always put... Um, I try to always put windows. You can see I can build right through all that um, around my solar panels, even though it doesn't make a difference. It's just a little pleasing to the eye, you know what I'm saying? Okay. What other basics do we want? Well, I usually like to put a teleporter in. And I usually like to put a galactic terminal in, in case I want to sell stuff. And a lot of times, it gets over here. Nope. Oh, here we go. A health station will come in handy, but it's going to especially come in handy here because we've got the sentinels nearby. I'll put two in because it does take a minute to uh, regenerate those things. And it has a protection just in case. Why not? It doesn't cost much. Uh, what else do we need in here? We're not really going to be using this to build stuff and all that, so that's not really important. But there's a lot of animals around, right? 
with all those animals hanging around, we're going to get food stuff. So, the nutrient processor would be kind of nice. So we can do a little cooking if we need to, and, oops, store any food-related items that we get. If we feel so inclined. So I'll pop that down. But then outside, we see all these animals, right? Look at them all, just chilling out. Some crazy looking ones, some normal looking ones. Uh, we're gonna put in two items. I don't remember where they are exactly. Definitely not there. Hmm. One's an autonomous feeder and another is a collector. I'm just going through too quick, I think. It's got to be in this one. Terminals there? No. Feeder, feeder, feeder. Biofuel reactor, nothing there. I don't think it's in decorative stuff. Exotic decorations, definitely not wall art. Just doing a quick cursory look. What the hell is it? Oh, good lord, here it is. All right, a lobs, a, uh, a livestock unit, and an automated feeder, feeder, right? So we got a lot of animals right here. Let's put the feeder down. And the livestock unit. Both of those require power, so let's go ahead and get that taken care of. And the feeder requires creature pellets, right? I think it can hold a hundred, so we're just going to whip up a hundred while we're... or not. Oh, come on. What am I doing here? Okay, there we go. There we go. Got a hundred of them. Let's fill up the feeder. And let it do its job. As you can see, these guys get curious. They're like, hey, food. Let's eat something. And as they eat, as you know in the wild, when you feed an animal and you interact with it afterward, you can gain something from it, right? So the livestock unit is supposed to Full harvested goods, but for some reason it's not working. Anyway, that's a fail. We'll look into it in a minute. Alright, so finishing this up, I always like to add on also a landing pad.
How do I need microprocessors? Don't tell me I don't have any. I probably do. This rock's going to have to go, though. So let's scan it. And then destroy it. Like a monstrosity, right? All right. Landing pad. What the hell? Where's all our microprocessors? Wow. That's weird. Okay. Well, we had a bunch of them. There should be some for sale. There we go. We'll buy a bunch, put the rest in storage. Yeah, we're not buying that many. I think the max it holds is 100. All right, so spend a little chunk of change on that. Let's go back out here. And now let's put in our landing pad. I always like to have a landing pad. That way when I do, ah, it's not where I wanted it attached. When I do spawn into a base, I um, don't have to worry about fuel for my ship when I take off, you know, because there's no fuel required when you take off from one of these things. And even though my main ship has a, uh, regenerates its own landing fuel, it's still cool to have it just because, you know, it's cleans things up a little bit and I usually end up adding, do I have something on the wall there? Is that why the problem? No. But it just gives me, that looks like it, right? Yeah. doorway in. So it gives us a nice little clean setup, place to land, walk right in, walk right out. We don't ever have to worry about launch fuel. If we have a new ship that we just brought down and it's low on launch fuel or something, we don't have to worry about it. It's all good, right? That's just clean looking. Very, very basic base. And put a couple more windows up just to make it look pretty so we can see what's going on outside. Now we have no power. Um, that could be because we have just a little too much stuff hooked up to the base, you know, or it could be because it didn't have a lot of time to generate power, but if we look in here now, this livestock unit, see we've been collecting milk. 20 fresh and 3 wild. Pretty cool, right? Hey, a little oxygen. Now I'm not sure what these other animals have. You can see he's a milk collector. These are pretty much all milk, it looks like. Look at this little fella. Okay. Just hoping to get this dude to come over. All right, well, we fed him. Oh, we could pick off an extrusion. And that gives us bone nuggets. Okay. So come on over here, dude, and you can... Uh, continue to eat and give us bone nuggets. 
Alright, well, we got the feeding part of our base done. That's all set up. Just in case we need more power, I'll do what I normally do and set up another room up top. Put in a ladder real quick. And then we'll just do another uh, set of batteries and solar panels. So one, two, three, and four. Screw up. There we go. If you get them to snap into place, they attach directly to these buildings, the round one and the square one, as well as the little tiny square one. So that's a big help. You don't have to worry about all the uh, messy wires, which can be a little aggravating uh, to put in. So let's do our typical window thing. Like I said, it's aesthetic, they still work, but when I come to a base and solar panels are all inside of a darkened room with no windows, I'm like, yeah, that does, doesn't do it for me, right? Okay. So here we go. So what's the main purpose of this base? The main purpose of this base, I put the feeder in because there's so many animals and it's kind of cool. Now, these uh, collectors and all that, like, if we leave the planet and come back, it's going to empty out, right? It just doesn't retain its uh, its stock for some reason. Or at least I, I've never... Every time I've had one before and I've used it, it's always been that way where it just... It empties it out for whatever reason. Okay, I get it. That's fine. Um, yeah, we got to get rid of this stuff. You know what? We're just going to do this for now. Okay. We'll put it all in the freighter. Put it away later. That bone nuggets actually looks like a pearl. But who am I to judge? Okay, buddy. So anyways, <coughs> the main purpose of this base is to farm sentinels. And why do we want to farm sentinels? A couple reasons. One, they're a great um, source of pugnium. And pugnium can be processed in a, uh, they call it fabricating type machine, the, uh, blah, 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 blah. oh God, I can't even think right now, it's so early in the morning. Um, <laughs> The refiner. It can be processed in a refiner by itself to make nanites, which are always useful. But another great thing about the uh, sentinels is they'll drop uh, glass, which can be refined, in, which can be actually broken down into different things, including these forbidden modules, these sentinel modifications. And as you can see, they're kind of neat. And eventually, I'm probably going to equip more and more of them. I'm not sure. Um, we'll see, but they're they're there for your uh, exosuit, and I believe we can get them for the multi-tool as well. Yeah, see? The uh, rescued oscillator. And that catches on with the bolt caster there. So it's a way to make the bolt caster even more powerful without overloading uh, the unit because you have too many upgrades on it. So I'm not going to lie, that's kind of cool. And I want to start making specialized bolt casters because I've got a few of them now. And with all those bolt casters, why not have some that are specialized? Why not have one that's designed specifically for combat, right? It's something that I can put as many combat-oriented uh, mods on. And no scanning crap, no shield, no nothing like that. It's just designed for pure DPS. That would be a lot of fun. So... I do have one in mind for that, and I've been working on upgrading it. And it's this one right here. Look at that baby. And I got that from a sentinel pillar, right? Not this one, but I got it from a sentinel pillar. 
and I'll show you how. When you get to one of these babies, there's a little interface here. You hit that interface, and it gives you a couple choices to shut down the Sentinel forces, which will shut them down on the planet. At least that's what it says. Or to extract weapons technology. When you go to extract weapons technology, it gives you a weapon that you can either exchange or outright buy. So this one obviously didn't give me the uh, weapon that I have. I got it from a different pillar, but that doesn't really matter. That's not why this is here to extract weapons, because you really don't need that many. I've got one and I'm upgrading it. Um, it's a matter of who hit me. It's a matter of wanting to uh, farm the items for it. So, in any case, we're not looking for a new weapon, but if that one ever, you know, I'll check it from time to time. I have seen at least two different variations of the weapon there, so maybe there's a chance that another one will pop up. If a really sweet looking one pops up at a high level, that'll be great. Right now I've got a B. It started out as a C. It cost me 10,000 nanites to level it to a B. To level it to an A, I believe is 20. And I think then it's 50 to an S. So it's quite expensive nanite wise. But, you know, this is a good way to, uh, to farm nanites, right? All right, so let's go ahead and get our regular weapon back, which was this one. Yeah. And we've got our bolt caster ready to rock and roll. Now we need a sentinel to kill, and there's one right there. Now these little guys, they're healers. I see I take this guy off. Putting a little hurting on me. Ah! But without a healer around, he's pretty much cake. With those combat supplies, and that gave us an engine and some nanites, right? Pretty cool. There's a little shield he put up. We'll take him down. So we got a little bit of pugnium there. And that time we got some salvage glass. Got more sentinels are searching. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, he's up here. Let's help him for the search. Those little ones give you pugnium, but I don't believe they give you any... Uh... Ah! That's the twin terrors. They don't give you any salvage glass or anything, I don't believe. Now my dude's in pretty good shape. I can take a beating. Can definitely tank some damage. More reinforcements on the way. All right, so we're gonna up their uh, up their game right now, right? Here they come. That triangle one, I believe summons more, if I'm not mistaken. So we kind of want to prioritize. I'll take a little, ah, take a little damage while I get rid of that guy and these silly little healers. Where'd that healer go? So if you don't do that, then you just end up facing an endless number of unkillable sentinels, which is frustrating, you know. As you can see, this gun takes them down pretty quick, and it's just a basic bolt caster. Well, it's not a basic bolt caster. It's beefed up a little bit, but it's still a bolt caster. It's nothing spectacular. I'm getting more salvage glass. All right, now we get that stupid little four-legged bugger. 
Alright, we gotta kill the healer. Eh. Get rid of your stupid shield. Alright, you're down. Now, these guys can be a problem. They will hurt you. As you can see, I'm getting bombed now, right? They're putting little divots in the ground. Oh, I thought he was toast. Now he's toast. Alright, we've taken a few hits. But we're still doing okay. Where the hell, little guy? And there's another summoner guy, see? Are you gonna hide in the rock? Oh, you're getting up close and personal. We do want to keep picking these up. Still haven't lost any of our health. Uh, Button jet, but we're getting dangerously close. More reinforcements are on the way. Look at that little group up in there. Well, goodbye, little dude. little mech looking dudes. Those guys are especially rough when you got the little healing bots flying around and they can be really frustrating. You get a devil. And yeah, we're doing pretty solid so far, right? We're not taking uh, too much damage here. down, dude. You're stuck. Yeah. Another hard frame engine. So we're going to test something out here. Um, we're fighting for a while, right? Oh, we got the walker, dude. So these guys are rough. Let's try and take him down. First, we're going to clean up these little dudes. And this medium-sized dude. I don't see the big walker yet. There he is. So yeah, this guy is potentially trouble. So what we're going to do is we get a little high ground on him. Got the high ground, Anakin. And we're going to try and pick him apart a little bit. Sweeping that gun around us. And we're just going to sit here and tank some of that damage for a while because we can. And I want to test something when we start losing that health, right? There we go, we lost him. A nodule of health. 
I'm not really doing any more damage to him from here. Let's get down. Pick that up, come up around behind him. Take out his legs. You can see we're down two health bars now. Which again, this is the end of the world. There's three. Screw you, little healer guy. Screw you, little summoner guy. Lost another one. And another. So now we're like, oh crap, we're losing health left and right. What do we do? This is why we set up the base, right? We go back to the base, and I think once we're inside, we'll heal. See, they're searching, right? We just gained two of our things back. That's why I put two of them up, because I knew this would be a situation where eventually it would get painful. Do it again and again. And the Sentinels are pissed, but they're not hurting us in here, right? And they're searching, which is the important thing. But there we go, health fully restored, right? If we had to, we can make a quick run for it and just take off, but what we're going to try to do instead is to go down here. And let's see if this works. I'll destroy all these nodes. I think I got the other two, right? Not quite. Alright. Shut down forces. same weapon. Okay. So the battle's over now, right? Yay, look at that. And that's why I built that little base there. It just gives you that opportunity to save your butt in the event of, uh, you know, a lot of combat if things get out of hand and all that. Now, we could have stayed and fought. I mean... It was definitely a winnable fight. We had taken his legs out and hurt him real bad. But it depends on how long you want to sit there and farm for. But in that short amount of time, 5, 13, Sentinel Glass, right? And the Pugnium, we, we didn't get much. So, yeah, 212. Which is all right. You know, it's, it's something that is going to add up over time. Got a few hard frames, which are worth a couple bucks. Quad servos, no big deal. Accidentally got some meat chunks. I think we accidentally killed our animals. But looking at our livestock unit, ah, look at that. We got some bone nuggets and lots of milk and, you know, look at all that. That's insane, right? And we only used 30 pellets, so, you know, pretty cool. So it's a dual, it's a dual base, right? It does two, two things right there. And why not do this? We could actually power this from nearby. Eliminating the need for um, solar panels and all that, which would be kind of nice. Because solar panels you know, take up a lot of space and all that. If I could take them out, I could make this place a little more functional with a little more stuff in it and not have to add anything big, you know, and I'd never have to worry about, um, running out of, uh, power, you know, nighttime or anything like that. So we got fresh milk and wild milk. Take all that. 
Man, it's working quick. With all these animals in the area, it's crazy, right? Let's see what our salvage glass has done for us. But first, I just want to see what this bone apple cooks up into. Or bone nuggets. Bone milk! That sounds vaguely disturbing. Alright, this stuff we'll throw on from Starship for now, just to get it out of our inventory, make some space. And let's start breaking down these salvage glass. There's a sentinel shard. See, we're also getting interesting parts that are um, not your most common, like the quantum computer there and the hydraulic wiring. We got more cool shards. And there's the map. Remember I told you about the map earlier? Well, there's another one. So some lemium, geodesites. No pugnium comes out of that, I guess. But we got four different sentinel shards. Uh, two, three weapons and an exosuit one. Let's take a quick look at the exosuit one just for the hell of it. See if it's better than what we got. As you can see, they're overloaded because we can only have three. Shields, so it's a two stat one. I got two four stats. Uh, shield strength and life support tanks versus core health and sprint distance. I'll take core health any day of the week, so thank you very much on that. And we get a couple ion batteries and a wiring loom out of it, which are always useful. Now let's switch out this gun. Because I've been wanting to upgrade this one, right? I have room in this gun. I don't. I've been trying to work with this neutron cannon, and I gotta tell you, I'm not happy with it. So, in any case, we'll worry about that later. I'll go ahead and go to a. Eh, you know what? Let's do it now. Screw it. I got you here. Let's take a look and see what we can do to this thing. We'll go to a space station. not want that. Although I think I can still do it there. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can still do it here. We can look at something else while we're at it. Alright, so here's the gun. Yeah, maybe not. I'll take a little more in-depth look at pirate stations later on, too. So let's just go to our, our uh, freighter, and then we'll figure out move on from there. Yeah, the is running way longer than I anticipated. Here we go. So when we get here, we want to go across. Anyone who's not aware of that, I mean, once you play for a little bit, you know about all this stuff. It was 10,000 to upgrade the first time in nanites. Make sure I got the right one. Yep. I believe it's 20,000 this time, which I have. No, it's 25, damn it. All right. Well, we're going to purchase 
some new slots here, right? 200,000, 250, 250, 500, 750, 1 million, 2 million. And now we got a six by six, which is good enough for the moment. So we can definitely fit these in there. Let's start doing it. So that's not a good one. In fact, let's just get them all in there and then we'll sort it out because we're going to have multiple uh, ones to get rid of. All right, so there's two. 2% 2 fire rate and plus one damage. That's garbage. That's garbage. That's not great. Yeah. So we've got one that's nice with three different items on it, you know, and that's that's where these things excel is I think you can get up to four. So we're going to have to get rid of three of these. So we're definitely going to keep this one. Let's uh, put that there. I think it benefits the bolt caster, right? So that's a keeper with the damage. And let's look for raw damage. Raw damage, 1%. 1% and 1% uh, reload time so we'll take a fire rate and then we'll take the better of these two and then we'll get rid of that get rid of that I forgot about this one reload time isn't as good Goodbye. All right, but you see they all uh, benefit the bolt caster, right? And while we're here, let's just take a look at you and see if you have any bolt caster S grade modules, because if you do, now nah, Plasma Watcher. All right, well, thanks for joining me, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and end this over and long episode right now. As always, Captain Beefy with the game vault. I thank you for joining me today. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel, ring that bell for notifications, and don't forget to leave a comment in the video down below. Let me know what you think of No Man's Sky and if this helped you out in any way, shape, or form. I know it's kind of a silly video, but um, I'm a little pressed for time today, and I definitely want to get some kind of content out, and I thought it would be nice to talk about uh, farming those sentinel pillars and how to do it, just in case you haven't, uh, haven't done that yet. So, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.